We've got new Stanley Cup Playoff Master Set players as well as a brand new content drop that involves actually collecting cards. We got new Round 2 Playoff Predictor cards that we'll go over as well as some other stuff. Let's get into it. Let's begin first with our four new Master Set player items and no surprise highlighted by the 96 overall Leon Dreisaitl. I figured when he didn't get a Master Set player before Team of the Season that it was definitely coming in the playoffs because, well... He's been actually insane in his career in the playoffs. We've also got Keith Primo, Brent Burns, and Doug Gilmore. Taking a look at the Master Set players, we'll start first with the 96, Doug Gilmore. He's 5'10", 175 with sniper, two-way, and playmaking forward, as well as checking, agile dangler, shooting, and defensive boost. Now, he does have 97 speed, excel, and agility, so close to max, as well as 97 balance and 92 endurance. His shot is in the high 90s, hand stats are in the high 90s, as well as a maxed out face-off rating. So everything that you would want other than the size but if you're a Leafs fan you're trying to build a Leafs team team this would be a great card to add he's got gold shrug it off which is pretty rare it did just get buffed and it is pretty cheap I think shrug it off is pretty impactful born leaders not bad backhand beauty is very niche close quarters and tape to tape so ability wise not fantastic but again if you're looking for a Doug Gilmore card this is a great one for Leaf fans next we've got the 96 Keith Primo and this brings me back to like my early days growing up watching the Leafs in the playoffs because it was really just the Flyers Senators and Leafs and they just rotated knocking each other out six foot five 220 definitely one of the more meta cards 95 speed excel and agility with 99 balance really high hand stats really high shooting maxed out body checking 97 face-offs he does have defensive boost so that can max out as well you can go sniper two-way and power forward but definitely a very good card gold born leader elite edges close quarters big rig and snipe so not a lot of like great abilities on these cards so far but still nothing wrong with the 96 keeper then we've got the 96 Brent Burns. And I'll be honest, as a Sharks fan, I love Brent Burns. But the last like four years, it's essentially just been Brent Burns or Eric Carlson that has got a master set player. I understand that there isn't very many of us out there. But man, Logan Couture literally exists. Never got a master set player item. And he's like one of the best playoff performers in his career. Just food for thought. Yeah, if you're listening, Burns and Carlson and Hurdle, we got it. We appreciate it. It's time for William Eklund and Logan Couture. Make it happen. Gold Heat Seeker, Silver Truculence, tape to tape as well. Well as elite edges and one t a lot of fun abilities on brent burns for sure including the buff the truculence it's got 95 speed excel and agility at six foot five 230 so it's good this is probably the low range that i would want if you were going to invest in a master set player at this point of the game guys 99 speed is obviously the best but if you're gonna trade in 95 speed but he's six foot five 230 with good abilities like that's a fine trade-off and he's obviously great defensively so if you are looking for a fun right-handed defenseman brent burns is a nice option and lastly we've got the 96 Leon Dreisaitl, 6'2", 208, with 94 speed, 96 excel agility, and 99 balance. He does have speed boost, getting it up to 96 speed. He's always a very slow skater in this game. 96 is fine, not great, but fine. He is 6'2", 208, so good size, unstoppable force, make it snappy. I think I'd like to see gold make it snappy on this card, maybe. 1T, tape to tape, and puck on a string. Great shooting stats, hand stats, obviously, 95 face-offs, which is kind of tough. You could go two-way forward to get that face-off rating up to play him at center but still a pretty strong leon dry settle card for a player that desperately needed a master set player item now i did my due diligence and i went and asked ea about leon dry because i saw this coming when he got a community team of the season i personally think that if he got a team of the season card and a master set player came out after you should be able to trade that in you can adjust the cost make it whatever but at least guarantee the ability to get a team of the season player item i reached out to the game changer chat it does not look like that is going to happen at all so for everyone asking and wondering if they're going to add a team of the season set it does not look like they're going to do it for any player retroactive after the team of the season event they haven't done it in the past i thought they might this year but no leon dry and any future master set item that comes out after the team of the season event don't expect to be able to make that card we also got new playoff predictor cards so these will go up for every series win going forward including the second round i actually like this change from prior years where essentially it was just they went up plus two for every win but they 
they started at 87 overall for that round and then they stopped this way if you get a predictor card from the first round the second round third round it looks like if they win the cup or they get to the final and win the cup they can get a plus eight overall getting them up to 98 overall and if they win the con smite they get another plus one making them 99 overall doesn't look like they're giving any you know favorites that might get the con smite but that being said we've got the 92 sam bennett 92 speed 90 excel very mediocre skater skating anyone on florida i mean they play at a speed that just must be molasses because that entire team is just so slow in this game unstoppable force big tipper no contest close quarters there's some fun abilities so if you are building a florida panther theme team you can go ahead and add sam bennett the other panther is gustav forsling with accelerator boost as well as shooting boost two-way and offensive defenseman again very mediocre skating 91 speed up to 94 excel has elite edges i don't know if i would ever activate it on this card quick pick is great so is shutdown seeing eye has its place as well but again very mediocre this is a card that if i got i would just sell because it's higher in value because the panthers are kind of favorites or at least favored to go far but this would be a sell for me the edmonton oilers round two representative is the 92 dylan holloway 92 speed 92 excel 95 agility only 86 endurance got two way and sniper forward as well as speed boost in that second slot so he can get up to 94 speed gold no contest it's more of an eashl build but does have truculence which is fun elite edges and crease crasher again a very mediocre card across the board with speed boost it does make him a little interesting the other oilers representative is the 92 of vander kane 62210 with sniper and power forward shooting and checking boost he's got gold truculence which is a great ability now even more than it was make it snappy is awesome back at you is fun and unstoppable force this is a really fun ability card so if he keeps going up and the oilers win the second round i'll be honest with you i apologize vancouver fans you guys are the absolute most insane regardless of who wins that series i think edmonton has a pretty clear shot to at least the conference finals so this card could be pretty good the avalanche get the 92 ross colton with two-way as well as sniper as well and speed boost and checking boost so again very slow skaters skating on these cards i wish they would just go in and adjust skating at this point and get away from the just plus two or whatever to the base card stat let's make it a little bit higher make them a little bit more interesting unstoppable force is great truculence is good close quarters and no contact are fine i'll be honest elite uh, unstoppable force has really lost a little bit of its value to me just because i think it only activates on the shove checks not the actual hits and because everyone uses total controls or a lot of people do especially in the lower divisions everyone just holds down b that's not a shove check that's a big hit and i think that bypasses unstoppable force but that's just me theory crafting we've also got josh manson as the other colorado avalanche representative with speed boost 89 acceleration but he is 6'3 218 two-way in defensive defenseman and has gold truculence so at 98 if they were to make it uh, just a really good card, but he needs a lot of upgrades to get his skating to be usable. And then lastly for the Rangers, we've got the 92 Vinny Trocek with sniper and two-way forward, defensive and shooting boost, gold close quarters, big tipper, shrug it off and quick draw. So a lot of fun abilities all the way around. 92 speed and excel, 93 face-offs, defensive boost can get that a little bit higher, but a pretty decent card. Jack Roslevic is the other Ranger representative with two-way and sniper forward, as well as shooting and agile dangler. 92 speed and excel, 96 agility, uh, with synergies activated gold puck on a string is okay not for the cost tape to tape make it snappy is great and then shrug it off so again all these cards will go up plus two for every round win they have going forward in the playoff and much like the rest of us it looks like ea forgot that carolina and the islanders even played because there's no hurricanes round two player item so i have no answer on that <laughs> the other players that obviously are on teams that have not made it to the second round yet i'm assuming they are going to add them once those series are over so dallas in vegas vancouver and nashville and then toronto and boston and then finally i want to talk about this this nasm cadre card right here this gives me hope for the future and i hate that they do all of this stuff when the game is essentially dead do this at the beginning of the game this nasm cadre card here just looks like your normal everyday power-up card all right you've got to use a bunch of power-up collectibles to get him up to his 95 and at 95 he's got 95 skating across the board as well as sniper playmaking in two-way and then he's got checking playmaking shooting and agile dangler boost he's got gold on stop force elite edges bounce back which is hilarious make it snappy which is great and then puck on a string 99 face-offs a very usable car now how do we get this car well if you head on over to sets and into the stanley cup you will see the squad building challenge the 2022 colorado avalanche and you have got to collect their starting lineup now obviously these cards are going to be very expensive because they can be price locked which is the downfall of doing things like this where you need specific cards this is the downfall to that however this does 
does have the potential to be what Hut needs in terms of content. So you've got to collect the starting lineup. But again, these cards are going to shoot way up in value in the auction house, especially because the auction house doesn't have a lot of cards left. There's only 21 of these Landis Cogs, and they're going for like around 10,000 coins each. And plus, you have to spend the power of collectibles to upgrade Kadri. However, if in the objectives, you gave us a Colorado Avalanche pack where you could get a couple of these cards for free, then we're cooking. Like, that's the way to do it. Allow us to get the ability to make these cards for free by making us play the game. I love this. I love the fact that they, it's a Stanley Cup event, build the starting lineup for the 2022 Colorado Avalanche. Absolutely love that. But don't price lock it, you know? And again, the way that you could get around that is by completing, let's say, a set of objectives where you go all the way through and you'll be able to get Colorado Avalanche cards. Speaking of the objective path, we've got a bunch of power-up collectibles as well as an 86 Matthew Carl and 88 RJ Umberger. And then a bunch of other event collectibles that you can complete. We'll see if they keep adding to it, but it does look like they've added in some rewards for week two. I also really like that they are adding in with each round a different Stanley Cup champion and having you go through all of their moments and wins throughout their Stanley Cup run. This week, we get the Colorado Avalanche. That being said, all the rewards are essentially for players that are just starting the game out. You're really not getting much. You're getting like three gold player packs, much like the rewards from squad battles. But imagine if every four wins, you know, when they won each round, was just another starting lineup player item that you could then use to turn into the Nazem Kadri by simply just playing the game. Again, food for thought. We've also got some new Hut Rush rewards, including an 88 Sean Hill at 600,000 points. That's definitely recommended to do. That is a lot of power-up collectibles or whatever you want to use to trade that in for. 600,000 points does not take long at all with the three different modes. Just do the objectives on Rookie. It won't take you long at all. You can get some more Stanley Cup playoff items as well, but definitely recommend getting Sean Hill. So let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Enjoy week two of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Go Leafs!